Welcome to the Sunday Mass. And for those of you that don't know me, my name is Father Paul. First of all, we'd like to thank you for praying and celebrating with us each week at the Sunday Mass. Just a gentle little reminder, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you might want to consider doing that. It won't cost you anything. And that way, every time we upload the Sunday Mass each week, or when we share one of our novenas or reflections or prayers with you, you'll be notified and you can join us. Also, I'd like to assure you that in our prayer basket next to the altar, anytime something significant happens in our church, in our country, and in our world, the prayer is always placed there. For example, when the tragic war in Ukraine began, a prayer went in for the people of the Ukraine and for peace, and that prayer has remained there uh, since then and will remain there until it ends. So anytime a significant event happens, uh, whether it's good or bad, uh, in our world, in our church, or in our country, please be assured that a prayer immediately goes into our prayer basket. Just also a reminder that if you don't get us on YouTube, you can always find us on our website, thesundaymass.org. Once again, thank you for being part of our faith community. Let's begin our celebration. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass and Ministry of the Passionist Community. It is December 31st, the eve of a new year, and we celebrate today the Feast of the Holy Family. Our celebrant today is Father Robert. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to the beginning of Mass, and let us begin our celebration. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. 
Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten, firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be blessed and prosper. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so must you do also. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the words of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee and to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. My sisters, my brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Well, I hope um, you all had uh, a deeply blessed Christmas, no matter where you might have been or who you were with at this time of life. And I hope that this um, coming tomorrow, New Year of 2024, is graceful for you, those you cherish, a peaceful world for all of us who live together in some very troubling times. Today, we as a, a church celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. What a tender image that is, isn't it? Mary, mother, and Joseph, foster father, and Jesus, the son. We know little about them, really. And yet, um, we know that it couldn't have been an easy life for them, could it? Refugees, really, trying to make ends meet. Mary widowed early in life, probably. Her seven sorrows. Joseph, seemingly dying at a young age. Living, leaving Jesus and Mary without the man of the house, relying on cousins or family. And of course, Jesus, leaving home at around 30 to preach, ultimately bringing him to the cross. But did you ever wonder maybe what some of the backstory might be? You know, the little things that are part of every family. You know, did Mary and Joseph ever have a little spat? You talk it out, hug, grow deeper maybe, hopefully more understanding. What was it like for Jesus to lose his dad? Many of us know that deep grief. Was Joseph the carpenter, the one who taught Jesus how to fix things? Did he... Have that, you know, father-son talk with him when he was growing from being a boy into a man? Was he proud of his son? Little things. Did Mary rub her son's chest with Vicks when he had a cold or whatever Vicks was in those days? Did she hold him and kiss him when he left one journey and then when he came home again? Did she worry about him? Of course she did. Mothers worry. But what makes a family holy? We all have our struggles, don't we? Our challenges. Maybe we have conflicts, words, things unresolved. What makes a family holy? Is it just about going to church? I, I don't really know. Certainly not your family, but... I think it has something to do with being there, especially at the vulnerable times, those times maybe when there aren't words to say. I mean, we can all be there for the good times, right? The celebrations. But the holy times are maybe those vulnerable times when we create a place of safety for each other around something or someone we can't change and we can't fix. I see this all the time at my ministry at Calvary Hospital, the end of life care. It doesn't get more real. Sometimes you just have to put things down, let the petty stuff outside the door and just be there. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's holiness. Maybe that's family. To create a safe space for those you love, even for those you find hard to love. To be there in the vulnerable places. The places where Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are found just like us. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate the gift of family today, let us trust in the Holy Family to carry our needs and prayers to our loving God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Praying as a family of faith, we remember all families today, especially those families struggling in some way. May the Holy Family be a source of God's mercy, hope, and love for all families on the journey of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we prepare to begin this journey through a new year, we pray that God's wonderful gift of hope will enliven our hearts to better proclaim and live the mercy and love of Jesus each and every day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of the Sunday Mass faith community that will be placed next to the altar, and for Carmine Ciccone, the Ciccone, Zuppa, and Vigilante families, and Angelina and John Lombardo, all of whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Father of all family life and love, through the intercession of the Holy Family, hear our prayers this day through Christ our Lord. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all as a holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For in the mystery of the word made flesh and new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, done, on earth as as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say, say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. And thanks to all of you for joining us today for our celebration of the Sunday Mass. A special thanks to Father Robert and our ministry team for leading us and helping us to pray and to celebrate today. On behalf of the Sunday Mass family, I hope you had a wonderful celebration of Christmas last week. And I hope that this evening and tomorrow, if you are celebrating, it will be a good one. If you happen to be traveling over these next few days, please travel safely. Have a great week, everyone. And until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Good